Hello and welcome to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. You're here with me, Ryan Orcubo. I'm Benson, or Topical. And uh, this is Deus Ex Human Revolution, which was released in uh, August of 2011. It's the uh, third Deus Ex game. It's technically the prequel, even though it's the latest of the three. And uh, it's pretty awesome. So we're going to play this, and I hope you enjoy. You're going to hate it. <laughs> That guy has a pretty sweet couch. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it was custom made. You think they got it like Pottery Barn? I don't know. Do they have Pottery Barn in this <laughs> future? In the future. That is the smallest angel. <laughs> so he's going to find out that the murderer is himself. Is everything in place? <laughs> Almost. What do you mean? Almost. I have spoken with Montreal. IRC the of the future. <laughs> Even this far in the future, there's still people who smoke. <laughs> and the clinics? We can tell them both to it. They will do as we say. <laughs> future keyboards. Yeah, I, I still know. think we should wait for the referendum. Of course, we want to wait for the to referendum. The oh, fucking levy is gonna get passed. Do you think they're still using QWERTY in the future? Or have they, or have they know, switched to Dvorak? It's the future, it's Dvorak. No. It's gotta be Dvorak, because I mean, about the fish is in the future. It must be dystopian and everything. The world will not change overnight just because David Sarif will be. David Sarif, master of fonts. This guy just wants to be sans serif. <laughs> I think all of his uh, notary is in serif font. It's all like curly and shit. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Now he writes in wingdings. Wingdings. <laughs> it's funny though, because like all the fonts of the future, like you know, Futura and Helvetica and stuff, those are all sans serif fonts. No one likes the serif fonts anymore. They're not. Yeah, that's not because they're uglier. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite sans serif font? Uh, you know, let me tell you. The, what the? F <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Circus LA has gotten uh, pretty crazy in the future here. <laughs> Live from the Ferris wheel! <laughs> you should see how many of them they can fit on one screen. <laughs> She's nearsighted. <laughs> and cross-eyed. Yeah. I don't know who's funnier looking. Him. Yeah. I'll expect two security details waiting for us on the tarmac. I love how his uh, jacket's no, embroidered the with uh, too exposed. his grandmother's wallpaper. Yes. I think it's like a tattoo or I'm something. Glad you like, understand. Yeah, I don't know. Right. What are those Damascus floral patterns? That's what they're called. Ah, oh, back to Instagram. Something wrong? Really? <laughs> no, not for Still me, worth a billion dollars. <laughs> you keep on that necklace, Dr. Reed. <laughs> well, after great. inflation in the future, it might be. <laughs> Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. God, I gotta get a new screen then it was all saver. Just theories. <laughs> but this discovery, Adam, it's Even big. Even origami Kepler attacked big. her hair. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Did you plagiarize it? Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there, Jeff. <laughs> Didn't see you there! <laughs> Yeah, I want to go over your security plans for watching. jacket is made of pure polygons. You and your team are ready to go, best. Megan? Yeah. <laughs> Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. It was developed by Lockheed Martin, <laughs> based on the B-2 stealth bomber. No, it's the F-117. Jeez! <laughs> Whatever that is, I don't even know. <laughs> I hate it when he does that. Come on. I hate it when he does that. that what, turns it off? No, calls me. <laughs> This is Deus Ex. It's a first-person shooter role-playing game, adventure game. It's a whole bunch of mashups and stuff. Let's he was see. following her to the edge of the room, and then like he's somehow back here again. Did she sprint over there? Yeah, well, um, this game's awesome, and uh, I hope you enjoy watching it. A lot of the part of this game is reading. We're gonna read about Patient X. He started the zombie outbreak. Um, there's a lot of text in this game. We probably won't pause to read it. However, um, at least I'll give you a chance here to pause your video. And you can read all of it if you feel so desired. It's probably a good idea because it fleshes out the backstory a lot. So, the future newspapers in are in e ink. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Washington braces for historical augmentation hearings. So, the read about DNA fusing so, and neuropazine and all that cool I'm stuff. 
Uh, wasn't there something back there that it said, I saw another, some, mm -hmm. one of those things, on, there you go. I'm going to use being more effective. <laughs> That's kind of vague. It's a first edition, David. David okay. bought it for me. It. Well, aren't you, yeah, isn't David cool, being a boss? You it's a first edition. You've got to control L that shit. Windows key L. Um, Megan's mother is apparently concerned about her. Uh, David's telling her to just stick with the facts. And I thought women were the ones who kept men. <laughs> Megan apparently has a dog named Kubrick <laughs> who needs to go into a doggy daycare. Hey, stop reading my email. And I don't even know what this is about genetic marvel or something. Who cares? Um, Megan, what is this? That is a sweet arm right there. Data loaded. Yeah, so Seraph Industries makes a P90X, bro. <laughs> Seraph Industries makes um, augmentation, augmentation stuff. In the future, people will chop off their arms and put robotic arms because it's cool. This is the sequel to Killer Seven, actually. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how sequel you found to it? Uh, Empire Nothing. Strikes Back. It's just <laughs> There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan, hold on. We're still getting Fucking biochemical Star. fluctuations across the artificial flow zones. Okay, but the increased neural peptides coming from the P-Dot cluster could be... So this, uh, this is kind of like right. an intro I'll scene. You can, uh, look around like I'm doing right now. I can't believe Storage cell block. What is that thing? Long enough to know mm -hmm. Eric, the thing that was up there. Me. Robotic arm? No, something else. Me. Whatever. I think I know why In the future, all the doctors carry stethoscopes. Oh boy, oh boy, you're gonna be real excited to see my new stuff going on. Is it water on the knee? <laughs> a Charlie horse, it's true. High technology biosystem. If you order one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. Don't talk. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah. Maybe you should help people overcome their mental limitations. I'm more worried about that. Yeah. To be honest, it's probably more useful. You fuck it. You totally knocked that over, woman. You knocked that over because you want to fire him. Is it all right to work, state in Michigan? <laughs> My collectible Elvis plates. No! <laughs> Charles Barkley here. <laughs> no, that's General Shaquille O'Neal. Yes. <laughs> Thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir. So you see, Vasily, 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 or whatever his name is, he has a, a robo arm because it allows him to uh, make love to the ladies better. I don't know. How would the arm do that? Swirling action. <laughs> it's not a toilet. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> see, swirling action. Uh oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Elevator. Now that's high tech. Yeah. So, uh, Barkley over here is impressed. Yeah. I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. She's got, like, weird boots. Like, okay, those boots are okay, but, like, she's Stilettos. got, like, she's got, like, a weird, like, petticoat going on here. You're missing the point. Yeah. It's like, all, like, frilled and shit. But neural augmentation. And what is in her hair? It's a bear trap. Yeah, I think it clamped onto her head on accident, and, uh, they couldn't dislodge it from her brain, so they had to just leave it there. He's a good man. Her outfit's, on a scale of 1 to 10, like it's it probably done. around a 6 yeah. in ridiculousness. Right. I mean, it's not too bad. She's got, like, pointed it's shoulders. It's pretty ridiculous, but in, in the world of video games, it's... Well, compared to, compared to like, Clown Newscaster. <laughs> that... <laughs> that was insane. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Cuba. Yeah, he's talking about her dog again. He's coming big, you know. Knocking over he's all the plants. That's all a dog know. Destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said. You so if you're going to tell uh, Adam Jensen, yeah. the player character here, um, has Sorry. the hots for Megan, Me this too. chick. Yeah. It's kind of a, a of dog thing going on. Adam. She's going to put that dog to sleep. <laughs> Eyes <Yes>. wide shut. <laughs> Good evening. Captain Ponytail. Richard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Frida. Sweet plane. I better yeah. hurry. See what the hell he's had. Bye, Megan. Catch you on the flip side. You still up for a two and a half men later? Interrupt something, Jensen. You fix that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. <laughs> you don't fix a firewall! <laughs> this guy is very defensive yes, about his work. Don't you know about computers? Oh, wait. He's the Harrison Ford of his age. I 
Exposition call. SWAT. <laughs> Exposition <laughs> SWAT. <laughs> Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track her. Personal space. Yeah, I know, right? In case yes, your yeah. security. They both pull out their cell phones at the same time. <laughs> they will. It's just like I'm in any restaurant ever. <laughs> I see the cannon still has a future. In the, <laughs> yeah, in the I know, right? Business. <laughs> in the future, are there still paper jams? <laughs> PC love letter. Should paper even exist anymore? Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Hey, Todd. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place. Here we go. This is their boss, David Seraph. He apparently tried to grow a Hitler mustache on his chin. One arm, he wears a wristwatch. The other arm, it's built right in. <laughs> Think it runs Android. <laughs> yeah, but it's only gingerbread. <laughs> He's loving the, uh, what's the Detroit baseball team? I don't even fucking know. <laughs> the Tigers? Is that? Yes. Okay. No luck, he's fucking alert here. Talk about the tigers that it sets off his alarm. All lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chance. Red screen means bad. Yeah. Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Someone uh burnt their toast. Yeah, no fire alarms going off. This is day sex, we can play the game now. We're gonna look around his office, he's got marbles. You got a globe. That's pretty nice. You got almanacs. It's got <laughs> human traffic. Desk <laughs> rooster. Child and violence. And the man in armor. What was that? Oh, let's see. We got what else we got so, here? I, I can't get close enough. His books are pretty awesome. Uh, um, let's see. Another child in violence. How many copies of that book yeah. does he need? He has Resolving like conflict. He has first edition copies. Yeah. Um, and some Rembrandts. He's got a fireplace in an office building. It's pretty sweet. Whoa, yep. that's a picture of himself. That's a picture of himself. Yep. Is it? Yeah. It's gotta be, right? Yeah, it kinda looks like him. I don't know. Maybe it's not him. This is Detroit. Apparently in 2027, Detroit's actually a, a cool place to live. I don't know. Yeah, the future truly is very different. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, Phoenix University. <laughs> 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 you went to Alderaan State? I mean, uh, <laughs> Adrian Monday. State. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking. You need to know what's happening, Adam. Use my elevator. Okay. I guess I'll go use this elevator. Don't go too fast. Strain yourself. Just take it easy. 0451. Fahrenheit 451. It's the same code I use on my luggage. <laughs> it's Bridges. a reference to System Where's Shock in the original Deus Ex. So we're talking to Pritchard, who's the IT dude, the asshole with the ponytail. I think she's running. Damn. It must have been a serious one. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the intellicams aren't responding. I only There's have eyes on you, sir. That That's seems like an arbitrary... Yeah, I know. It should be just like a thousand. I mean... Yeah. Richard? Oh, we got a gun, apparently. Also, in the future, we still haven't figured out how to make elevators with with uh, higher load capacities. Yeah. Immerse myself in taste. You have a dollar on you? I want to get some... Uh, Give me a Fanta right I now. I want that thing. Whatever that thing is. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Orange thing. So, uh, this is the tutorial. It's, uh, a tutorial. You can tell it's useful because we're skipping it. Well, that guy's on fire. Yes, he is. He is what is that other guy doing? He's... <laughs> I don't know. Let me in! Did they, did they put the interns in the, in the hallway? <laughs> they got out of office for the interns? <laughs> yeah, it just gets down the hall there. They ran out of office space. Got to You okay, buddy? Pick up slack somewhere. Okay, buddy, you need to go do your work over here. I'm gonna put you put right, right up on his desk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he, tried. he tried. That's what happens when you drink a lot of Red Bull. <laughs> huh. It's a restricted cautioned area. <laughs> Hold on, I got I got a three sixty of this. Oh, fucked it up. Yeah. <laughs> laying All on right. the job. Everyone's here is laying on the job. How does any work get done here? I mean like half the place is on fire. Yeah. The sprinklers are ineffective. Yeah, what is that? That's the most pathetic sprinkler. The fog machine's right just there. going crazy. Buddy, go go to work. <laughs> he landed sitting okay, up. Okay, here's someone here's someone that's alive. Uh, oh, okay. uh, 
Huh. Oh! I must break you. He doesn't seem at all concerned. Oh, apparently bullets moving at a, you know, thousand feet a second can't break the glass, but uh, this guy can. They so. also don't ricochet off of it and hit you. Yeah. Dude, get out of here. Stop burning! <laughs> they must all have flame retardant yeah. clothes because they would... That guy would have been at least a little Neuropazine, dangerous inside effects. That looks like a pretty bad bell curve. Wait, so what is that? That means that... Risk levels? For uh, years. So for dependency or what? I'm guessing there's a 30% risk level at unnamed years. Huh. Serif Industries makes robotic arms if you haven't figured that out. Robotic stuff, uh, augmentations in general. He's a robot hand. It's the thing. <laughs> huh. So. Oh, well, there you go. Throw it over here. So, uh, first, this is the first in uh, first person shooters vent crawling. Yeah, I've never seen that before. No. I gotta replace this filter. Call the HOA. There's no dust in the future. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Have those little machines from the fifth element that come and sweep <laughs> everything up. You okay, buddy? Let's uh let's move you over here. Let's set him down. Just sit him, you know, give him a nice seat. Sit him in the chair. Sports! <laughs> yeah. Sports <laughs> magazine. <laughs> That's because in the future there literally is only one magazine for sports. <laughs> <laughs> been drinking too much Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, everyone's drinking Red Bull. Forklift. Let's go on. Oh, uh oh. Up. Oh. That's a railing kill. It sure is. So this game has third-person cover shooting. Um, it's actually pretty good. It's probably one of the best cover shooters I got to play. Actually, I mean, I play like Gears of War and shit, and it works out pretty well. Yeah, Surprise. the cover the cover system in this game is is uh, surprisingly decent, um, and that's coming from people who <laughs> <laughs> are well aware of how bad cover systems usually. I guess are. he broke his leg <laughs> over the railing. This uh, uh, this is a bad like guy. Seven or eight feet. Yeah, I guess. You can break your leg doing that. This is a bad guy. He has laptop core on his back. <laughs> well, let's keep going. So, uh, Adam Jensing, the guy we're playing, is the security guard. Well, not security guard, like head of security. Head of security at... At Serif Industries, where yeah. he works. Protec, 600 of something. Optic cables, oxygen, T32 nitrogen. Huh. Blast that right mm -hmm. open. Look at... Why are there generators everywhere? I don't know. That's a good question. Power generator. What, they have, like, a fucking 150 horsepower fucking generator. Yeah. That's a fucking future. This is, like, lights and shit. How are these guys not seeing you? Oh, they are seeing me. Oh, they you. totally see me. Well, they suspect me anyway. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't stand in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so yeah, you can shoot around corners. Challenge in every you must kill everything by blind firing. <laughs> Dude, that would take forever. It'd take years. So, um, yeah, the cover system's not that bad. Uh, you can shoot around corners, you can aim around corners. This is... You can shoot explosive canisters. Oh, shit. Cause them to leak, Some uh, green ooze, shit. ooze from Ninja Turtles everywhere. Yeah, Ninja Turtle ooze. Oh, dude, they got a kegger going! Oh, sweet. Well, let's, let's get a kegger. No, guess not. You can aim down sight, obviously. It's more. So you don't have any bullet counts or anything here? No, this is the intro. You don't have bullet counts. So you just use as many bullets. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even stop firing then. They I'm got just... uh, they got virtual. Oh on. sweet, virtual on, yeah. Shit's awesome. That could just be two player the grid. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't the grid have a uh, mouse ball? Dude, I yeah, it does. Shot. It does. Oh, come on, you're not doing your job. Whoa, predator! Fucking predator, man. Get to the chopper. You didn't get to the chopper, that's why you're dead. Oh, hey, buddy. You should open the door for me. Uh, well, you should probably... No, I guess just... In the future, women have sweet coma. Oh, my God! Skrillex just shot that guy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so... Deus Ex is pretty cool because you can sneak around and uh, not shoot everyone. It's actually pretty I don't understand. <laughs> Some people like being stealthy. That guy see me? 
How did he not see you? Mm -hmm. I can tell you how, because he's dumb. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hiding, man. I was gonna look for him, but... You can't see me. I don't know. Figured I'd just take a nap. Uh, turn around, dude. Better look back. I'm trying to sneak here. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, they're all sneaking. These guys... are... Is that good? You can go. You can go now. Uh, I don't know. He's no, not now. Now you can. Let's go. Okay. So yeah, you can sneak in this game. It's pretty cool. Let's get the fuck it's out the of most it. most incompetent group of yeah. guards. Yeah, fuck you guys. Uh, I feel like I'm playing Metal Gear. Oh, god, oh my god! Sucker punch. That seemed like a cheap shot. Hey, Megan, forgot my watch. <laughs> I was watching that. <laughs> well, I'm never gonna know who won American Idol. <laughs> he broke the virtual arm machine. I gotta say, how did his stomach get beat up from flying through a window through his back? I don't know. It's a very good question. Not goo! <laughs> Not only did she have goo in her office, she was able to lift the 30 pound container above her head and throw it at the guy. He's got glass in his hand, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. That would sting. <laughs> Just sting. <laughs> Hope he doesn't shoot. Oh, he, no. And that's the end of Day's X. <laughs> what is it? The credits are on! <laughs> yeah. So, what, what, you know, what do you think of the game overall? <laughs> Uh, this is actually intro credits because they're cool like that. Um, this game is very stylistic in a bunch of stuff. It's uh. Keep me searching for a heart of gold. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, has a lot of gold and silver. It's themed in that way. It also has like a kind of renaissancey theme. That doesn't look. That's gross. Yeah. Oh, dude, just That's put a bandaid on or something. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, um. I gotta say, all the cutscenes in this game were made by Square Enix. The game itself was That's made by Eidos Montreal, but the cutscenes were made by Square Enix. So really, they did the only thing they're good at. <laughs> cut making cutscenes. Plug right in that matrix there. Yeah, plug right in. This is the construct. D sub V. If you're paying attention to what's happening in the, uh, the subtitles down there, uh, his boss, Dar Sa David Seraph, is telling him to get a bunch of logs. He has no arms. Yeah, that was, uh, that seems unnecessary for them to chop off his arms. Like, well, what happened to his arms that necessitated the Yeah, chopping that's what off? I'm wondering. I think that guy just wants everyone to have metal arms, because he has yeah. a metal arm. I have doubts that every person in this who has a metal arm lost their arm. I wonder if it's like Ghost in the Shell where, like, their fingers break out and they type really fast or something. Maybe. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Plug plugging that hexagon thing. <laughs> like I say, if you had metal arms, you'd be pretty badass. Yeah. Wouldn't it be cool to have an internal uh, alarm clock or something? You never have to set your alarm clock. That'd be nice. Pretty much everything. You wouldn't even need. It wouldn't even need to be an alarm clock. It could just yeah. wake you up without <laughs> ringing. Like, just like, why did I fucking? Oh, I gotta go to work. God damn yeah. It. <laughs> So that's a hallway. Yeah. This is the loading screen. <laughs> it's pretty cool. You'll notice that thing spins in the corner. Yeah, we're playing it on PC, so you'll see some loading screens. Six months later. Seven years later. Big bro. Big bro cameras. <laughs> How did that brand take off? <laughs> no negative connotations. Yeah. Pure marketing. I know. Dude, I gotta give applause to the HR department. <laughs> Lens made in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> We're always at war with East Asia. <laughs> <laughs> Big bro. Oh, oh sweet! He wears his sunglasses at night. <laughs> six months. It only took six, six months, months for them to completely yeah. rebuild building. Six Million Dollar Man. Sorry to pull you out of sleep so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. We've got a situation. A breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the elevator. Yo. Huh. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. <laughs> Security the guards wear a tie under their bulletproof vest. Yeah. People's lives are at stake. <laughs> 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 
Okay, so we're going to end the episode here. Um, though I have to ask you, Kevin, if you could have an augmentation done to you, what would it be? Um, I would get uh, those stretchy inspector gadget arms <laughs> because then I would never have to remember why I left the remote. That's pretty good. I would get a hard drive in my brain so I remember every conversation. So when I get married, I could tell my wife to fuck off. Because <laughs> <laughs> then you never forget. I remember what you said. Hypersensitive tech. <laughs>